Well, let me tell you about this chip. This chip is based on a new architecture we've been working on for several years. Several thousand people have been working on this project now for more than two years. This is the largest GPU endeavor, the largest chip project endeavor, the largest processor endeavor in the history of humanity. The R&D budget was several billion dollars. Several billion dollars. I am pretty sure you can go to Mars. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can go to Mars. Pascal packs just so much punch for several reasons. The engineers have just done an amazing job. First of all, the architecture is the most efficient architecture we've ever created. It's the most advanced architecture we've ever created. And I'm going to show you some amazing new technology that you've never seen before. It's the world's first 16 nanometer FinFET GPU in production. World's first. It is also the world's first to use Micron's new G5X memory. This memory is so fast. It is so fast. Well, what you're looking at, that smear in the middle, that smear in the middle, basically are the bits flowing in and out of our chip and to the G5X memory. Each one of those signals, each one of those signals are only 100 picoseconds wide, 100 picoseconds. That's 100 picoseconds is how long it takes light to travel one inch. How long it takes light to travel one inch. In that little bit of time, our engineers have to make sure that data is transferred. Pretty much, when you look at this thing on, a, on an oscilloscope, it's pretty much just noise. The fact that you could actually extract information out of this is just unbelievable. G5X, the fastest GDDR memory in the world, the first built by Micron. The fourth part is craftsmanship. Thousands of engineers, thousands of engineers have come up with thousands of ideas over the last several years. And each one of them optimizes on what we already built in the past some of them working on groundbreaking new technologies. Maxwell, as you know, was already the most energy-efficient GPU that's ever been made. And energy efficiency in modern computing is exactly the same as performance. If you're energy efficient, you are also high performance. So energy efficiency is of enormous importance. And so we dedicate ourselves to thousands of small ideas, thousands of small ideas. And the reason for that is because, as you know, Moore's Law is running out of steam. So you can't just take a design and go to the next node, and all of a sudden, you have more performance. We have to do this now through enormous amount of dedication, enormous amount of craftsmanship, thousands and thousands of small ideas, and hundreds of big ones, and a few groundbreaking ones. Well, the craftsmanship of this project of Pascal has been like never before. And then lastly, I want to talk to you about brand new technology. But let me show you a few things first. Craftsmanship. I can't show you the thousands of ideas that we worked on, but I selected a couple. And this is how we designed the system around the Pascal GPU. This is the system around the Pascal GPU. Don't forget, when you pull energy out of your wall, it's 120 volts, it's 1,000 watts maximum. However, we take that AC power, we reduce it down to DC, and it's now one volt and nearly 300 amps. And that one volt and 300 amps is being delivered at multi-gigahertz. And so the switching power supply design is incredibly hard to do. This is probably one of the most complicated, most artful, most advanced switching power, switching power supply that humanity does today. Well, your goal is this. With the billions of transistors that are switching at a few nanoseconds apiece, our goal is to de deliver essentially a DC power. That DC power can never change. Depending, independent of whether it's Tomb Raider running, or Excel running, or Division running, a big explosion, Minesweeper. Mind <laughs> it doesn't matter what you're running, it has to deliver that clean power. And whenever we, do, we don't deliver clean power, you lose performance, you lose energy efficiency, you lose everything you fought so hard to do. So the delivery of clean power is incredibly important. The white line is 
the last best in the world, the white line. And basically, that envelope was Maxwell, GTX 980, the world's best GPU. The world's best GPU is the best GPU we've ever built. And that variance is what we were able to achieve with GTX 980. Notice GTX 1080, the variance has reduced dramatically. It's almost essentially a solid line. Out of one, out of one volt, which is all we have to work with, 100 millivolt ripple is all we see. The second, we want to deliver that efficiency, that level of power, that level of current, across the entire operating range of our GPU. Don't forget, these things are running incredibly fast. And it's asked to burst into a level of performance almost instantaneously, because as soon as you turn around, maybe, maybe you were looking at a nice, quiet, gentle brook, and you turn around, and there are 10 monsters coming your way, and you got to fire back immediately. Well, the amount of graphics processing that changed all of a sudden is instantaneous and enormous. Well, we have to deliver clean power and efficiently as long as we can, all, all throughout that entire, entire experience. And so notice, in the case of GTX 980, our efficiency it was excellent. However, the 1080 took it just another level. Well, what do you get from all of that? Amazing new architecture, 16 nanometer, the world's first 16 nanometer FinFET GPU, the world's first G5X, incredible engineering worksmanship. Well, what you get from that is this. The 1080 is faster than a 980 SLI. <laughs> 1080 is faster than 980 SLI. But a 1080 is way faster than the fastest in the world today. The 1080 is even faster than a Titan X. And you've got to ask yourself, right? How much faster? How much faster? Unbelievable amounts. It is utterly insane. It is insane. The 1080 is insane. It's insane. It's almost irresponsible amounts of performance. When all of it came together, when all of it came together, let's face it, we designed it to do that. We wanted it to do that. We invested billions of dollars so that it could do that. I'm just so happy. Look at that. GTX 1080. It's faster than the Titan X. Not by a little bit, but a whole lot. And with so much less power. Well, basically what this says, not only is 1080 the new king, the Pascal family is going to be pretty amazing. <laughs>